So today we're going out to President Putin's dacha, his country house in the countryside outside Moscow. And like all visits to his dacha, we're going to be going on a bus with the pool of journalists that cover his every move. At that point, a plainclothes security man came up and stopped us filming. One of the perils of working near the Kremlin. We drove out past the luxury car showrooms on the edge of Moscow where Russia's new rich live, to the place where President Putin does much of his business. Well, this is the press room at President Putin's dacha. This is where the media always have to wait while his meetings are going on and in between the short moments when they're allowed to go and film his activities. We've been here for about three hours uh, waiting for a meeting. You can see the teapots and the water arranged on the, on the table. Uh, there's an awful lot of waiting for those people who follow President Putin around. But we'll be told that this afternoon there's going to be a very important meeting. <laughs> We watched as the ministers told the president how much money Ukraine owed Russia. There was a discussion about the gas supply contract, which had a clause in it saying that if Ukraine falls into arrears, then Russia had the right to demand payment for gas in advance. <laughs> And then, after a curt thank you and a glance to his security guards, it was time for us to go. Well, the meeting's still going on behind me, but uh, we've been asked to leave, and that seems to have been a pretty clear decision. Russia is now going to ask Ukraine to pay for its gas in advance, unless, after short consultations, Russia and Ukraine can come to some sort of an arrangement.